Mickey and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful and peaceful place called Happy Valley. High on a hill, a magnificent castle rose over the golden land. Inside this enchanted castle lived a magic singing harp. The voice of this golden harp cast a spell of joy and prosperity across the valley. Then, one day, a mysterious shadow crept over the valley, and something dreadful happened. When the shadow lifted, the golden harp was gone. Without the magic of the harp, all was misery. The fields of golden corn turned to dust. The laughing brook stopped flowing. Happy Valley was happy no more. In one particular farm, three poor farmers, gripped by hunger, shared the little food they had left. Between the three of them, they shared one single bean and one slice of bread cut so thin that you could see through it. They decided that they had no choice but to send Mickey to the village to sell their poor cow to get money for food. But Mickey returned from the village without the cow and without the money. Just a little box containing three beans. I sold the cow for some magic beans, Mickey said proudly. We can't live on three beans, his friends cried. But these are magic beans, Mickey said. If you plant these beans in the light of a full moon, do you know what you'll get? Yeah, Donald yelled as he angrily threw the beans to the floor. More beans. Sad and hungry they all went to bed. That night, the bright light of the full moon beamed into the hole where the beans had fallen. Slowly, from beneath the floor and up through the hole, a beanstalk started to grow. All through the night, the beanstalk grew and grew, onward and upward. It carried the whole farmhouse high up into the sky. The next morning, the farmers awoke to find themselves at the top of a beanstalk, miles above the earth. In the distance, they saw a very big castle. They wondered who lived there. Hoping to find some food, they started out for the castle. Soon they reached the moat surrounding the castle. But they weren't going to let that stop them. The three friends made a boat from a giant pea pod. While they were crossing the water, the boat was attacked from the sky above by a giant mosquito. Suddenly, a giant fish leapt from the water and snapped the mosquito in midair. Although the fish saved them from the mosquito, he also sank their pea pod canoe. Finally, safely across the water, the three farmers arrived at the castle. They stared up and up and up. Mickey carefully crawled through the gap at the bottom of the giant door. The huge, gloomy castle hall was dark and quiet. Once inside, they climbed to the top of a tall table. Food! Donald yelled 
and the three hungry friends enjoyed the first real meal they'd had in many weeks. Suddenly, Mickey heard a voice. Who's there? The voice whispered. Who is it? The voice was coming from inside a locked box across the table. Donald and Goofy stacked up so Mickey could look inside. The golden harp was locked inside the box. I was stolen by that wicked giant, the harp told Mickey. He brought me here to sing for him. A giant, Mickey cried. Suddenly, the giant entered the room. He was as big as 40 men. Fee, fi, fo, fum the giant sang. These were the giant's magic words. By saying these words, he could change himself into anything. As the giant sat down to eat, Mickey and his friends scurried to find places to hide on the table. Mickey got stuck inside the giant's sandwich. When the giant shook pepper all over the sandwich, Mickey popped out with a sneeze. Ah-choo! I got you, yelled the giant. You can't get away from Willie! <laughs> Clever Mickey pretended to read Willie's palm. Boy, what a lifeline, Mickey exclaimed. It says here you can change yourself into anything. Sure I can, Willie replied proudly. Want to see me turn into a bunny? Seeing a fly swatter on the table, Mickey had an idea. Can you change into a fly? Mickey asked innocently. You mean a cute? Teeny weeny itsy bitsy housefly? Willie asked. With a sparkling whirl and a magic flash, Willie began his transformation, while Mickey, Donald, and Goofy got ready with the fly swatter. You sure you don't want a bunny with long pink ears? Willie said as he reappeared as a rabbit. Then he saw that Mickey, Donald, and Goofy were holding the fly swatter. Hey, what is this? The giant roared. You think you'd fool Willie? The angry giant scooped up the three little friends and dropped them into the box where the harp had been a prisoner but Mickey managed to slip away. As Mickey watched from high above, the giant placed the harp on the table in front of him. The golden harp began to sing a soothing lullaby to the angry giant. Watching Mickey high above her, the harp sang instructions to him. In his right vest pocket, you'll find the key, the harp sang. The right vest pocket, go carefully. Mickey carefully climbed down a thread into the sleeping giant's shirt pocket. Once he got inside the giant's pocket, Mickey found the key. But the powder in the giant's snuff box made Mickey sneeze. Ah-choo! The sneeze woke the sleeping giant. Mickey ran and quickly freed Donald and Goofy from the locked box. While Donald and Goofy carried the golden harp away, Mickey distracted the angry giant who chased him across the tabletop. At the end of the table, Mickey saw a bottle. 
He hopped on the cork and pop! Mickey flew out the window riding the cork. Donald, Goofy, and the harp were already at the base of the beanstalk. Mickey rushed to join his friends, and they all began working furiously to cut the beanstalk down. Suddenly, the beanstalk went snap! Willie the Giant tumbled down, down, down to the earth below. With the return of the harp, Happy Valley echoed once again with song and laughter. The fields of golden corn grew again. The laughing brook laughed once more. And the people of the valley lived happily ever after. <laughs>